right guys, so we will start the run anim. So I've got some reference as always. We're going to use this run as a reference or this one here. Now this is going to be a heavy one. So we'll just get this graph ready. Uh, start blocking this out one by one. Okay, first pose. So we're just gonna block. So let's check out the first. Let's put the grid on here, man. Just get the grid. First pose is all right. This leg is forward, and this one is back. And we will roll it up. Is there a toe? Toe pivot. Yeah, we'll roll it back like this, then move it up. This toe is pretty back like that. And it's higher. Yeah. And obviously this one, the foot control, this is a contact pose. Is you can see this. We just want to, we don't want to have it exactly straight, but we want it also to be leaning forward slightly. All right. Bring this back. We want that overall shape. Now we're going to make this one a little bit, it's going to be a little bit slower. All right. So let's check out the side view here. Move it back like this. And just key everything. So we didn't we did it to 40 frames, yeah. So we'll do it and we'll do it on the spot as well. Then we'll come to four. Again, we'll bring this down. We can see the next pose is contact. We zero that out. And then we'll bring it back here. He comes down. The bend is what we want, right? The bend. We'll have him come down a bit because he's quite heavy. And then that last, that back one just comes forward. So we'll key all of that. Oh, one thing we'll do here is let's get the hips. Let's go back to frame one. Let's lead. With the hips so what is that forward let's do 30 put 30 here which means we need to move this forward a bit because the hips are leading and also we want to because the last the leg at the back is in the air we want to rotate in the z so we can put that at 10 okay and then the next pose is fine. We'll just key all that contact. And then they're going to have the pass in position. So the contact pose, we could move that around here. And then the next pose, it comes up. Oh, actually. Actually, let's see this. You see this reference here? Well, this says take fat man running on six. Okay, well, he's not, he's an athletic man. So, what we'll do, let's check out. You know what? We'll go for a normal. What we'll do, we'll go for a normal run. Let's check this out, man. One cycle left. So what we'll do, we'll go for something like this. And we'll work with that. So let's get this run cycle in this one, yeah? So we'll use this. 
key pose comes down. And then pushes off. So it's coming down here. Then then this this leg comes back, foot roll, this one goes forward. Obviously the foot roll, so now we can start bringing this foot roll back. Zero that. Zero the toe. Have this coming forward. Then we foot roll it. And this is the toe, yeah. Yeah, we can bring that down. Bring this up. Bring this one back. So that's the third. Oh, that's spazzing out there, isn't it? Oh yeah, what well, I think we'll do. Zero that out. And is that foot roll? We can do a foot roll here. Or what we can do is because this toe spin, toe pivot. Okay, let's try that. Mm, you know what that is, right? It's pole vector. So let's stick these out. Stick them out and delete the next two frames. Oh, it's still doing it. Okay, let's go. All right, let's keep it simple. We'll zero these out. Let's zero this out. Bring this back. Rotate it like this. Let's just use this as a rotator. It'll just make more sense to just do it like this. We can zero this out. Basically, zero all the foot rolls out. And then passing position. Yeah, there you go. And then zero this out. Zero this. So let's do it. We'll do it this way. Yeah, let's get more smoother then. Okay, so this control will just keep it a bit more down. As it is in here, it's going down the push. Make sure key everything. Then the next one is the most important one, right? So it comes up and it both feet are off the ground. So then that's way here. Then we can rotate that back. Might even take the foot roll off that. Look at that, that goes back. And then this goes forward. You got that shape. You want that sh nice shape, right? Add a bit of not too much stress, but stretch. Sorry, but 
So he goes down. So he goes down, up, up, and then this is the highest point. So we can go a bit higher. Yeah, that's fine. And also while we're here, let's change these. So let's go back to zero. Get both of these, zero it, the IK. Go into your graph editor. Just delete the keys after that, otherwise I'm gonna switch back to IK. So at least that's all. Okay, so we've got that first bit going. And I'm gonna block this. Go into here and just go to stepped. So we block it all. So it's like, yeah. So we've got that. And now we wanna put basically, I wanna do it one way I do this, which is a bit, we go to mesh. I duplicate that mesh, take it out, control P. So it's out of the hierarchy. And then I'll, I'll just select that for now. Wait, let me select that mesh. Create a layer, put it in the layer. Let's get rid of it for now. What I do is select everything. Make sure these are all keyed. Middle click and bring it to 17. And then what you want to do is if you reveal the mesh, you want to do it the opposite way, right? So, just use it as a guide, really. <coughs> Excuse me. But just use that pose as a guide. You know, put it in here. It's not going to be exactly the same, but... You can refine it after, isn't it? There you go. Let's bring it up here. Was it front view? Yeah, and then just delete that mesh. So, you, so you've got like a guide. And then remember, we're talking about the rotation here in the hips. We want to do it the other way now because it's leading and we want the back hips to be up because that leg is up in the air. Okay. And then we can go, that's fine. There's a contact there, but we want Y to be zero. We want it to be down. And we want to move this leg down just so that that front leg starts bending. This seems cool. Okay, and then what we'll do is select everything. Just key it. Right. And then again, 21. Same thing we're doing. We're coming in here. We're going to impact position. So what we'll do is zero out. Bring it back. E comes down. Passing position, down. Get everything here. Next next pose is the one where he pushes off. So he comes back here. We can use a foot roll here, pushes off. Obviously he's gonna go higher. Have it about here, yeah. And then bring this forward. Take the, take the foot roll off and bring it forward. Rotate. So it's kind of getting ready. that. Okay, 
have a look at the other one too. So it does come out a bit more. If you look at that pose. And also the back is cool. Yeah. Okay, we can key all that. Then we go to that key pose where we come up. So we get rid of the roll here. Comes up. There's a look, there's a push there. And you know what? I think this one could be a bit down a bit. Uh, and then it comes up. Yeah, so we've got that. And obviously we want to go higher. This is the highest point. And grab it all. Just key everything. I just go back and just make sure everything is keyed on every control. That's just an old habit I have. And I can go back and delete. And I'll also come in here and make sure everything's blocked. Yeah, so now if we look now, that's it. And then what you do, just get that first pose, copy it to the next four frames. If you go to 33, 33, and if you have a look, should cycle. Yeah, so you got yourselves a blocked in, you know, it's a slow pace, but we want it like that. Right, so we're getting that legs blocked in. So we'll, so that's the legs done. Then we'll move on to, I'll do the torso, the side to side movement in the next video. And then we'll keep breaking it down just systematically so it's a bit more clearer. So we do one thing at a time. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video.